Okay. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the No Suit Survival series. Um, now that we've got a bunch of resources in terms of money and food and water, I think we can do a bit more work on the base. So, today, what I want to do is if I come over here and use my spotlights on my ship here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of setup for the industry here. So I want to put down a couple of drills so that I can start collecting uh, a lot of ice and a lot of stone here. But to make the most use of that I'm going to need a lot of cargo storage, um, some refineries, some H2O2 generators. And I'm thinking I'm going to do it in, I'm going to place them all in this space here. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep this at the keep this part at the level that it is. Perhaps have a secondary area that's a little bit elevated here and then have an antenna dish on top of that. And then this section here I'm going to have um, probably be a bit lower and I'm going to have just a stairway that a person can walk up and um, I want to make this slope here ideally if I can I want to make it less steep so that it's possible to drive up and down um, potentially because on top of this area here I would like to put a sort of um, a ship printing sort of welding station here so you can weld up a, a vehicle here drive it along this way and then drive down here I could put an elevator there or something but once a vehicle's um, driven down this part, they would have access into the uh, hangar elevator over here. And that basically just leaves this room, uh, this area here for a bunch of storage and refineries and whatnot. And I'm thinking I'm going to put a couple large hydrogen tanks maybe up on the side here. Perhaps in this bit of snow, or maybe over there. Um, and then I need to think of where I'm going to put the the oh, there goes my drone. Where I'm going to put my sort of I want a area where I have a system of ejectors that are like cycling and dropping bits of stone into refinery. So if I get a, a load of um, minerals in from a mining trip, I want to see them all sort of flowing into my refineries. So it might actually make more sense for this whole area to be used for that. And then I can place this section down a bit lower and have the welding arm on that part. So I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll still have a uh, radar dish here. Maybe it'll be coming sideways off of the top of that building there. I think that makes the most sense. So before we get started on that, I am going to make myself a brand new set of tools. Now that I have some platinum that I bought from the trading station with my fairly earned hard money, cold hard cash, uh, I'm going to build some tier 3 tools. And I'm actually going to get rid of all that uranium that I picked up because I don't want it. It's just too cheaty. So I'm going to grab that uranium here. I think I put a little bit into my... Um, into my fighter because that runs off of uranium. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave, say, 30 kilograms, maybe. And this will just be for producing missiles or something like that, you know? Okay. Because they, they are, I believe, the only thing here that takes uranium to build that, just these, yeah, just these missile containers. That's what I'm going to keep them for. But um, let me chuck off. I think I'll put yeah, I'll put them in here so I can just go with building some T3 tools. So that's a grinder, a drill, a welder. I could even build a missile launcher. Oh, I want that. The precision one is better. I'm pretty sure. So where is that? Oh, there it is. Um. I think one of them's got like some variance in where it shoots, I think. But we'll just go with that. And then I'll produce some missiles. 
So that takes a little bit of uranium, so I don't know, 20. So we've just got that as an option if I want. So I've already built some because I can fit them into my fighter now because the fighter has a reloadable rocket launcher built into its original design. So if we go over here. I um I did have a rocket launcher here and um, these are the exit points for the missiles and thankfully they don't actually hit the cockpit here they just sort of shoot out it works perfectly fine and I've added a cover to the like because there's a usually an ugly yellow conveyor port here I was thinking about trying to rotate these pieces of armor on here so that I've got like that pipe sort of texture going sideways rather than like forward um, front to back or, or left and right here but as you can see if I try and like grind them down <laughs> it's really hard to actually access these panels you have to be really really precise otherwise it just grinds the stuff below them I don't know if that's like a collision issue or not ah, I'm getting pretty close I think these that assertive observer is active right now so I don't know if it's going to constantly send stuff at me. I think it probably will. So we might need to go and take that out, depending on if I keep getting attacked by drones or not. We'll see how we go. Um, so now we've got these higher level tools, so we can go and grab them. They'll be in the assembler. And I can chuck these lower tier ones into the cargo. I should be able to. There we go. Can't place them into the assembler for some reason. Is it full? Or? Oh no, that's just the. Yeah, okay, I'll be able to place them in here, but yeah. So that's the output section. So we need our grinder and our welder. And I'm just gonna set that up how I normally have it here. So Okay, and then we've got our food and water, uranium. Now I am actually going to get rid of that in a fun way. <laughs> Let me find a nice bit of slope here. I'm just going to sneeze, hold on one sec. <coughs> oh. I'll cut that out. Uh, let's grab ourselves a landing gear. Now I'm going to put this on a angle for a deliberate reason. Maybe a little bit higher angle. There we go. And um, we're going to add on a little cargo container. Then we also need a little atmospheric thruster. I don't know if I can place it like that or not. Okay, nice. And then all we need is a little battery. So let me grab the stuff with this. Get my fancy new tools out. I want one of these, one of these, one of these, and one. I should have everything I need for that. And in here we can just chuck that. So now we're just going to whack this on and unlock that. Bye bye uranium. There we go. Out of sight, out of mind, huh? <laughs> uh, okay, so now that leaves us with a bunch of steel in here. And I've got interior plate on me, okay. So I'm gonna go and place some conveyoring. That's why I um I welded up a little landing pad beneath the fighter there because 
that scaffold gets ripped apart by the thrusters on here. But that's right, it's only temporary. We'll be able to store these in the hangar. So we'll park down here. Now, where am I going to start putting everything? What is the first step here? One thing I know for certain is I'm going to put some drills here. So let's get that sorted. Um, we'll start with a by running a conveyor line. Um, I think if I just make it on this level, it should be fine. Now am I set to going to be local grid alignment now? Does this block include all the new pipes? It doesn't. So I want to use some of them in here. I think I need yeah, the conveyor pipe junction. I'm thinking of using them in here because these look really cool. I'm a big fan of this new sorter. I want to use these a lot for my... Um, yeah, it was pretty much this block was what I wanted to use a whole bunch in the ejector system. It's like why I wanted to build it in the first place. So we're going to start with a junction. Now is this six blocks? It is, right? And then there's a cross section one. Okay. So it doesn't really matter what the orientation is. It's the same on every side. It's nice actually. It doesn't have um, it doesn't have like the word conveyor on it like the normal conveyor junction usually has. <laughs> I'm playing a oh, shit. I've been playing a bit of Minecraft. <laughs> I just hit the control key there to stop myself from running off. Um, it might be easier just to place these in the ship here. Right, we'll go into our control G menu. So we want the conveyors. We've got conveyor pipe junction, conveyor junctions, and we want a cargo container. We're going to use the industrial ones. We're going to need drills. We're going to need pistons. And we will need some O2H2 generators. Some engines. And some hydrogen tanks. And I think, does this? Yeah, it has all of the options on it, so we'll just use that. But I think does this cargo... oh this does have the option of all of them, okay. And that should be everything we need. So, can I... how does this control? Right. It's interesting that I can... I'm holding like the key that lets you spin around, but the placement of the block actually goes up and down as well. It's interesting. Okay. So that lets you like sort of place on an angle, does it? Oh, not from first person, but it, it doesn't even save it. Okay, well, we're learning stuff as we go. So we need to convey across to the side here, and for that I'm going to need a conveyor pipe curved. And this is set for yeah, let's set a local grid as well. So, what's the one we need here? I think you use the conveyor pipe end to join to like square things. So we're going to go with the go with the flanged and then just general pipe. Um, I mean this is this is probably only temporary until I've got more of the um, design figured out. I'll keep it in third person just so I can see where I'm going. I need to bring that a little bit closer so that I can attach it onto here. Oh, that's actually really hard to do from third person. I just have to be mindful that I'm not running into that. So we're going to add a turn here. We go out a bit. And then down. There's my curve. There we go. 
Right. And that is going to lead into our storage over here. So we're going to need a whole bunch of refineries, cargo containers, and that over that sort of stuff over here. So we got a couple more. It's getting to the point where it might be easiest to place it on foot. I think I can reach that from the ground here. Maybe not. Oh, I can. Okay, yeah. It's better to do it by foot. Hmm. So. I'm going to. If I go over here to. We've got cargo containers here and I need refineries. And I'll just get the same stuff I had on in the ship. So I need O2, I need a tank, engines, and I've got cargo, piping. Oh yeah, I need pistons and drills. But um, we'll save that for a second. I can do that with the ship. Um, we're going to come to actually if I grab out the refineries, I think I'm going to, because of the space here, I'm going to probably place them just vertically. And I also want some cargo containers, so probably going to need three cargo containers and like four refineries to start off with. Or I could just do four of each. So we're gonna come down. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it down until the bottom of the refineries would be reaching the ground. So if I placed it there, would be okay. Yeah, that's the perfect height then. So what I need is to set it up with some of the um, what some of the T junctions. So then I can put them down into each individual refinery. And I'm thinking, I don't, I oh know I will need vertical just for the refineries because we have a slot on the top here. Is it on the, it's on the top right hand side. I could also place them in like that. I'm going to place them. Maybe vertically against the wall, or just in here like that. So one, two, three, four, and then they can be conveyed up on their sides and on the tops if I feel like it. So let's go with that. This, and then we need a refinery here. That's the right orientation. I just need to move this back a little bit. Four of these. And I need a little bit of a scaffold to get up there. I'll just grab some stairs. Place these. Big block in here, something like that. So I can get up to the top here. And I need a little platform. I can just use a one of these. Okay. So now we can pipe these up. I think I need the perhaps these ones. So I can I can go like flanged 
and then I'll do the conveyor across. That makes the most sense, I think. Is that right? That one's correct. Uh, oh, this one's this one's not right. Oh, have I got these around the wrong way? Uh, refineries. Okay, the conveyor port is actually it's on the left. Okay, so that one's right, but this one isn't because the conveyor port is there. So we're just gonna grab out our cross, and I'm gonna not do the plan flange one because that will look a little bit weird if there's only one of it. So we're just going to do height and then cross. And then this can lead into pretty much anything else. So we just need everything for these. And then I need some cargo containers which I suppose I could put behind here. Now on bio action I want. I'll need some room for the modules, the upgrade modules. So where are we going to put our cargo containers? Perhaps just along here. That would work. So to pipe them up. Um, I might as well use the tops of those and then these have in place them so that the port is facing the top. Although then it's I want it to go through the sides probably, so then I can have the control panel at least facing me all the right. It's a bit boring from that side. Um, I think it's best to have them. I want to place them like this, so that it's facing that way. That's the most like intricate and detailed side, which I think has the best visual interest. So I need to conveyor it out now. There's a port here. So we can just go up from here. And should be up just one block, I think should do the trick. And we can go across with some pipes. We'll do A. An end which will connect into the first cargo container. Which we place like that. So that's hooked up. And that's hooked up. And then uh, maybe I even could place them on top. Then I need to pipe them up as well, which I could do with the top line. I'll do that. I like that. Gives the uh, pipe here some, something to connect into. Can I can't reach all the way around there. I'm going to need a bit of walkway. Which I can't place on here. Let's just grab some of these. I can't place on here anyway. <laughs> Where have I got an attachment point? How can we do this? Let's... Well, we can use. We can just use this as a scaffold for now. Or something to build off of. Is it a scaffold if you're building off of it, or if it is it only a scaffold if you're walking on it? That's my question. <laughs> now I should be able to. That's I got local grid is what I want. It makes building these so much easier. I'm glad I discovered that. Um, and then we can have the cargo containers on top of here. Should be able to place them like that. So. We want them to be that's the right way up. So then we need to have some pipes going to that.
Um, I done it down there. It didn't end. And then it looks like I've got two flanges meeting in the middle. So like that. And then we need a way around here. So let's grab a end. Which then it's up with this one on that turn. So we just go with pipe. And then in here we need a bit. There we go. So that's all the refineries and cargo that I'm going to be needing for the time being. So we can get rid of this. Yeah, that's going to look kind of cool. I like that. Now we need some O2H2 generators. Which I can place... Where are we going to place these? I do want to leave this area pretty clear for train station -y sort of thing. I'll try and limit myself to somewhere around this area. So maybe I'll just place them attached to the cargo containers. I can have. I just have like four placed like that. Just for now. And then I'll need some engines. So we'll pipe that up. And we want a end coming here. That's going to lead into need some way to connect up to two hydrogen engines. So we're going to need a junction of some kind, so either across do like two crosses like this then some sorters just for a little bit of visual interest and then we add the engines like that so those are all the blocks we need placed for doing the basic power. Um, I just I need a couple batteries somewhere. I, I might have gotten. Oh, actually, I think that might have been damage from the assertive drone. I was wondering. I couldn't see it in the dark before, but that might be where that happened. So I'm going to need a couple batteries. And could just maybe even attach them on the back of these. I don't know. Just for the time being. So we've got two batteries, oh, and three, including the one up there. So that should be good for batteries. It's quite a bit of power. Then all we need is to do the drills. So to connect that up, I'm thinking I'll use uh, the drills won't be here permanently, so the, the shape of it doesn't really matter, it's just there to ex excavate the area. So I'm going to grab some more vertical scaffolding. Block here to build off of there we go. We can go up now. Up to here. And then we're going to build off of this. 
So then hopefully I should still be able to place a drill somewhere in here. I hope I don't have to dig it out. Oh, I, I am going to. Okay. Uh, well, what I can do is I can come down here. I can right click excavate a bit. Now that I've got a higher level drill, this digs out a much larger area, as you'll see if I go in third person here. You can see how much it digs out compared to a normal drill. So we're just going to excavate some space here. I should be able to place all my drills now. Well, maybe I can't because maybe I can't because of this um the ring around it. So I might need to grind all that down. Which I'll just need to bear in mind. Or I suppose I could how much steel have I got? I'm going to need more steel plate to even place everything. I haven't got any steel in here, so I'm going to go grab some. Let's go to our cargo here and we'll go to the hustle. I'm going to need a couple hundred steel. And then I'm going to go and uh, get my build planner. So I need to build at least one cargo container and one refinery get started. We need uh, H2O2, an engine, a tank, oh I haven't placed them, oh not the small one, I think I need an engine, big one. And then, oh it's done the small, O2H2 over. And then we need a tank, One piston, and then a whole lot of conveyor tubes. So let's see if we've got what we need for that. So And we just put a few metal grids in production. Now the question is, can I actually carry all that? It'll be a good test to see if I can. Oh, I can actually. Holy, holy moly! That's impressive. Oh yeah, very, very heavy, but it is doable. Let's switch over to the welder. And yeah, I don't have much time because the thrusters are going at like full speed, full power to do that. So let's do these piece by piece. So I had a piston. And go to the welder. It's probably going to do the conveyor, I might do. We need that. And then we had one refinery. i be careful we're going down. It definitely beats welding by hand, that's for sure. 
I'm just adding the final touches here. So we've got a connector there to dock to to supply the space with ice. Oh, not any time. That's just another temporary spot. I should be able to complete both of these tanks. And then hopefully not have them be shot up into a million pieces within the next <laughs> within the next twenty minutes. That'd be very depressing. Okay, that's done. They're done. The only thing that I have yet to do is build some drills into here. Yeah, so let's place some of those. I need to figure out where the center is. I'll place that on first. Alright, is that it there? Or on that side? What? Okay, yep, yeah, that's the center. So I'm going to place the first few drills like this. I don't know if I'll actually end up needing every single one of these slots to be filled. Um, what I could do is I could just uh, drive the drill system down a bit and then dig that out, get a whole ton of resources that way and then um, do some right-click mining to excavate it. So we have nine drills Nine. So I think that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other oh, build planner has a total of that amount. Okay, and uh, they're not that expensive. Right now, let's get these finished off here. these parts and these parts perfect so now that should be everything done on the base except for power and we just need to add some fuel to the system and maybe some lights couldn't hurt so I can see what I'm doing Hop over to the Achilles, which has a moderately filled tank. Um, suppose we go in here and we go to the H2O2 generators, we turn these off. Do I have any ice? I do, so I can add that. Let's go to the cargo, drop these off, and take these. Um, where's my mining drone? Is it on? No, it's on its way back. So I'll just wait for the mining drone while my batteries recharge. Alright, here comes the drone. So. Wait for that to dock in. I've turned off the O2H2 generator so the ice won't really... Actually, the ice might even just go straight into my ship because of the conveyor sorter. This mining drone can carry a surprisingly large amount. I, guess, I suppose it's the drills. Yeah, the drills have quite a lot of capacity. So let's go first person. Now, can we fly this amount? Again. Let me just. So we'll do a couple of trips. And that should be everything we need to 
fill up this base. I need to put some lights in here. Right. How many construction components on me do I? Right, right, just got girders and steel plate. That's right, so how very useful. At least the emissive lights are helping. Now we'll go to the ice on board. Yeah, hustle. And we'll go into these cargo containers. Uh, large industrial cargo containers. So and then if we go and have a look at ice, it should be the O2H2 generators. So now on our grid here, these tanks uh, will be filling once the engines have filled. I believe. And prioritizes the engines first, I'm pretty sure. So where are these engines? Engines here. Yeah, so it's filling up. I'm not taking any chances on you, assertive people. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's just filling up the hydrogen tanks. So we are all good. Let's go add some lights. Uh, well, down in here is pretty important. We'll just grab an interior light, like that on here, crank that up all the way to the maximum. Intensity down a little bit, a little bit of an offset so that it's not in the mountain as much. So that's illuminated this section. Let's go and grab a light on one of these drills here. Uh, it's going to be hard to reach. I can, I can just build a scaffold up to it. And that is that. <laughs> of course, I took it off my hotbar only to put it right back on there. Let's go. Oops, it is. is. I need this so that I can see what I'm doing when we dig down. And make that offset all the way down. And the intensity is fine. And I'll put a light up there as well. Oh, this got damaged as well. Oh, to get that piece, that was hard to place. And max that one out as well. And the only other place is over there by the tanks, which I'll also put one there. Oh dear. <laughs> Didn't think this one through. There we go. Now I'll chuck a light on here. And I'll offset that a little bit. Turn the intensity down. There we go. So I hop out into our spectator camera. This is the progress we've done today. So I think that that would make a nice screenshot for the thumbnail. 
So we can see what we've worked on. We've got all our storage, um, enough assemblers to get by, although they're not piped up. Oh, I forgot about them. No idea. Well, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that between the episodes. Yeah, I get all these done except for that one. Um, but not all of these. But that's alright. Conveyors are uh, tricky, and I only need to do, technically, I only need to do this little pathway here. So that should be easy peasy. Alright. Well, that has been the No Suit Survival series for today. And next time, I think we'll get working on bringing in some resources in the big scale. <laughs> I am flat broke on iron. Should have just enough to do the assemblers here. Um, but that should be it. And we'll be kicking off from there. So I don't know how I'm going to decorate this chamber here, but I'm glad that I finally got some work done on a little bit of the design there. So then, yeah, I'll have some more refineries here, nice chute that goes down into it, an antenna attached to here, pointing out into the, the sky. Excellent. This base is coming along nicely. But, yep. Until next time, see you later, everyone.